वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय अब्दुल राफे सुहेल फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज लेफ्ट फॉर तुर्की ऑन अ टू डे विजिट टू एक्सप्रेस सॉलिडारिटी विद टर्किश पीपल इन वेक ऑफ मैसिव अर्थ क्वेक पाकिस्तान एंड द यूनाइटेड अरब एमरेट्स हैव अग्रीड टू एक्सपैंड इकोनॉमिक टाइज इन की एरियाज Pakistan and Russia reaffirm their commitment to augment bilateral collaborations in diverse fields. And in Pakistan Super League, Karachi Kings will face Islamabad United in Karachi today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif has left for Turkey on a two-day visit. Turkish ambassador to Pakistan Mehmet Pachaji and Consul General Amir Ozbe saw off the Prime Minister at Lahore Airport. During his stay in Ankara the prime minister will meet president of Turkey Recep Tayyip Erdogan to personally convey heartfelt condolences on behalf of the entire Pakistani nation over the loss of precious lives and widespread damage caused by the earthquake the prime minister will reiterate Pakistan's firm commitment to stand by the turkish people during these difficult times and to continue to extending all possible support to the ongoing relief effort The Prime Minister will also visit earthquake affected areas in southern Turkey and interact with the Pakistani search and rescue teams deployed in the area as well as survivors of the earthquake. Meanwhile in a tweet the Prime Minister said that he is leaving for Turkey with a message of unwavering solidarity and support for Turkish brothers and sisters from the people and government of Pakistan. He said true to the spirit of one nation living in two states we consider their loss as our own. The Prime Minister said natural disaster as earthquake in Turkey and Syria are beyond the capacity of any single government to handle. He said no country howsoever resourceful can deal with devastation of this magnitude. The Prime Prime Minister said it is time the world should come forward and extend support to the suffering humanity. Pakistan and the United Arab Emirates have agreed to expand economic ties in key areas. The understanding was reached during a meeting between Minister for Planning and Development Hassan Iqbal and the UAE Minister for Economy Abdullah bin Tok Al Mari on the sidelines of the World Government Summit in Dubai. During the meeting Hassan Iqbal emphasized the need for expanding trade relations between the two countries and identified key areas where vast potential for mutual collaboration exists. The UAE Minister for Economy well come the suggestions and showed keen interest in the areas identified he invited pakistan to sign a comprehensive economic partnership agreement with the uae to enhance trade relations between the two countries Pakistan and Russia have reaffirmed their commitment to augment their bilateral collaborations in diverse fields. The resolve was expressed during meeting between Minister for Economic Affairs Sardar Ayaz Sadiq and Russia's ambassador to Pakistan Danila Ganesh in Islamabad. Speaking on the occasion, Ayaz Sadiq said the finalization and implementation of deals under Pakistan-Russia Intergovernment Commission will result in a significant reduction in prices of oil and gas in the country. Appreciating the progress achieved by the Intergovernment commission he said these deals are in favor of both the countries speaking on the occasion the russian ambassador said his country wants to utilize full potential of trade existing between the two countries In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism have martyred one Kashmiri youth in Kupwara district the youth was martyred during a military operation in Sitpura area of the district In the United States two persons were killed in a military helicopter crash in Madison County. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency said the Black Hawk helicopter was on a routine training mission when it crashed. In the ICC Women's T20 World Cup, Pakistan beat Ireland by 70 runs at Cape Town last night. Batting first, Pakistan set a victory target of 166 runs for the loss of 5 wickets in stipulated 20 overs. In reply, Ireland were all out. for 95 in 16.3 overs The fourth match of the Pakistan Super League season 8 is to be played between Karachi Kings and Islamabad United in Karachi today The match will start at 7 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time And that is all for now for more news and analysis log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com/radiopakistannewsofficial